But what a happy occasion as the Georgia Bulldog players raise the trophy for this year's Chick-fil-A Bowl and win the championship with 28 unanswered points. They win it 31-24 to over Virginia Tech. I, I went back and pulled out the first half stats. Georgia had two first downs with 29 yards rushing and passing. They had 18 yards. That was bleak at best. To come back and do what they did, uh, it just unfathomable. Yeah, it looked like it was over. And then they go down, they get a field goal to go 21-6, to and you still think against that defense, Boy, it's going to be tough. And then Mark Rick made an excellent call. They'd studied this and game planned it. And Mims does a perfect job dragging the ball. And this, with the recovery, they go down. Martrez Milner scores to make it 21 to 13. An excellent play call. Remember, Mike Bobo now the play caller for Georgia. A little counter play, which is beautifully designed. And then Sutherland takes it in. And Ron, you go back to that call by Mark Rick. He talks about becoming a better head coach. He gave up play calling. That's the beginning of it. What a great call on that onside kick. Well, and plus the fact Nims came in, and he does not get a lot of action. The youngster not only kicked an absolutely perfect onside kick, if you could see Grimm was about to recover the ball for Virginia Tech, and he reached ahead. It had gone the distance it needed to go. He reached out, grabbed it, made the recovery, and he didn't realize it at the time. He was securing victory when he did that. (laughs) Yeah, coaches make gutsy calls, but execution is what makes them good gutsy calls. It was perfectly executed. Well, let's also uh, hand out some praise to the defense for the Georgia Bulldogs because they stiffened in the second half to the point where Virginia Tech just couldn't get anything done. Well, and it's all year long. Tony Taylor, he's the MVP of the season for Georgia. And he showed why. An excellent block there by Oliver who came on a blitz and saw it and then late in the game after a very difficult pass interference call. Ellis comes up with a key interception. Remember, he had been called for interference just a few plays before, so he makes up for it big time. By the way, we've just been handed the uh, the MVPs, outstanding players on offense is Stafford uh, Taylor for uh, Georgia on defense, but Stafford just a couple of moments ago took time out down on the sideline to visit with our Dr. Jerry Punch. Here's reaction to that come-from-behind win tonight. A true freshman quarterback, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew, got to ask you, what was the difference in this football team between the first and the second half? You know, we've been through a lot of adversity this year, and we uh, we know what it's like to play from behind. And uh, these seniors came out here and led us in the second half and uh, made plays, and, and our defense shut them out, which is uh, which is awesome. Helped us out a bunch. In terms of your maturity as a quarterback, uh, what you know, it seems like in the second half you just started feeling a little more comfortable in what you were trying to do. Yeah, I just kind of got a better grasp on what you know what they were going to give us and uh, and what we were trying to do against it. And, and Coach Bubba did a great job of calling plays all night. And uh, you know, guys made plays for me and made me look pretty good. So it was nice. I was going to ask you how you would, you would evaluate your new uh, offensive coordinator in his uh, first bowl game. He's calling, pulling out all the stops. It was good. You know, he uh, he did a great job. Kept us in a rhythm that second half. And uh, you know, never let never let us get complacent. You know, kept kept pushing it every time we got a turnover. It was great. What does this win now do for you heading into 2007? That's great for us. Momentum is going to be huge for us now, and, uh, you know, we're just excited about next year, you know, but more excited about sending these seniors out on a good note. Hey, congratulations on a great effort, and congratulations on a big win tonight. Thank you very much. I want to remind you of one thing that happened in the ballgame. Just before halftime, there were a lot of people that thought Mark Rick let the clock unnecessarily run out. Mark Rick sent a message here. Even though there were some scattered boos, he was saying, let's go to the locker room, <laughs> and settle calm down, down talk mm-hmm. to the freshman quarterback, and boy, was he ever right. He gets a win. Your and, closing thoughts. Well, and you got to think, Mike Bobo, listen, it was a big deal for Mark Rick to hand over the reins to, for play calling to Mike Bobo. First time in 13 years he hasn't called plays the last game of the season this game. But he still has to coach the quarterbacks. And I think uh, not only was did he call a great game, he got that young man settled down at halftime, and it was just a different quarterback between the first half when he was thrown into coverage and the second half when he was waiting for a second and third guy to come over open. And now you start to see why they knew Matthew Stafford was the right guy for the job. Yep, no question. 31-24, the final score. Uh, Tony Taylor being hoisted in the air by his teammates. He is the MVP defensively of this ballgame, and the Bulldogs come from behind to win.